Hey guys, it's Steve for Collector Media. I'm here to do one of my favorite deck techs ever. This is my Geist of St. Traft comp or competitive, super competitive 1v1 deck. I've loved this deck since I built it. It's probably my flagship deck for pretty much anything 1v1 related. Hey Steve, uh, they banned Geist in 1v1. I, I don't think so. Yeah, it, it happened no. just recently. July 21st is when it was affected. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This has to be an MTGO thing. I don't know, man. I, I think it was I think it was regular regular uh, French rules. This this can't be right. Yeah. You're 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 kidding me. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. This is absolutely preposterous. I cannot believe the rules committee would ban this commander after it's been out for so long. I, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Listen, Rules Committee, we can do this. We can make this work. What if we just add one converted mana cost to the card? It just errat it, and that's the way I'll play it from now on. But I think that'll work. Well, hold on. Well, I don't know. Maybe make it a 1-1 one, 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 and then keep the, you know, everything else. Oh, wait, well, I don't know. That's a little bit weak. Let's, okay, I've got an idea. Let's make it cost 4, make it a 3-3, three, three, but give it flash. I like that. <laughs> oh, wait, Steve. There's other commanders around there, you know. <laughs> You'll find another one. It's okay. There's like 600 legendaries. In the game. Well, I guess there's always Ojitai. Eh, I guess I'll give that a shot. I hope you enjoyed that little skit that we put together. Um, for honestly's, Guy St. Traft was one of my favorite decks. It was a great 1v1. I've kind of moved on since then, you know, it's been a little while. The card was around for a very long time in 1v1, so I don't know why they banned it this late. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Um, there were a couple other different announcements that I just actually caught wind of. We actually just learned this like on Facebook a couple days ago, so <laughs> I was a little bit behind the curve. Um, so I know that Geist is banned, of course. Um, also, Jeez. by... Did, well, File Smash has been banned for a while, but yeah. Jace Friends Prodigy is banned as, as well. Commander only, both guys, this guy, Jace, and then Bruce Tarl. Which I don't, I don't really understand the Bruce Tarl thing, but I don't really play, I guess, super competitive one v one. So there might just be different, you know, maybe over and wherever they're holding those tournaments, you know, that's gives, just a super crazy thing. Because he gives what first strike or double strike? He gives and double strike and double strike and life link. So I can see how that can be really good, especially yeah. with a lot of these partner commanders. So I mean. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> and then beyond that, there, those are just commander use only banned cards. There's also Polymorph banned. Okay. Emrakul Aeon's Torn is now banned. So wow. now that's in line with the multiplayer, right? That's true. Yeah. Um, and then, like you'd mentioned earlier, unbanned was Ancient Tomb. Yeah, mind twist. Yeah, and fast bond, which is nuts. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe fast bond got unbanned. Yeah, they've been doing some interesting stuff, and like you know. As we've talked about on many podcasts and everything like that, there's so many different things happening as far as, like, do we go with MTGO? Do we go with the French rules? Do we go with some other weird thing? Like, tiny leaders rules have been popping up all over the place, too. So, I don't I mean, know. Even amongst French, there's Leviathan Commander. And... Yep. Man. So, we live in a wacky world, and it's really hard to keep, like, even us trying to find what got unbanned and banned was kind of difficult, because we had to type it in several different ways just to find the correct list, you know. And I could see how somebody going to a tournament for 1v1 can get a little mixed up. So, as a warning to anybody that's looking to play in a 1v1 tournament, I would definitely check with your whoever you're playing at, you know, if it's Collector Mania, wherever. Check and see what ban list they are running. That way you show up and all your cards are legal. And you don't have to scramble at the last last second to throw something in. Um, with that, we just wanted to do a fun little spoof video about uh, you know this news that we found out a little bit late, and uh, we will definitely catch you later. Thanks, guys.